Hi, I'm Kate Mead from Ace Radio and welcome to the 2017 TV Week Gold Logie Awards. Stunning. Jane, tell me, how excited are you to be here at the 2017 Logies? Oh, it is such an amazing night of nights. We get to get all dressed up and we've had different hair today than I normally have on the news. So it feels like a, a new and exciting and special day. Now I have to ask, are you happy with the weather today? <laughs> today is perfect. It's Sunday. It is a fair bit of sunshine happening out there, nice and warm. But my favourite thing is changeable weather and we're going to see so much of that this week. It'll be very exciting. Kate Mead from Ace Radio with Steve Price. Steve, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. I've got to say you're looking very fit since coming out of the jungle. How are you feeling? Haven't put any weight back on. <laughs> Mentally a bit challenged. Uh, still trying to come to terms with the whole thing, but I'm really pleased I did it. I mean, I think it's probably added 10 years to my life. I mean, I... I think I've gone a bit soft, which is a bit weird for me. So Oh, never. I don't think he would go soft. I'm going to have to balance that out a bit. I'm going to sort of have to move back the other way a little bit. So, look, on radio, it's been great. Um, I love it. our ace radio stations, of course. Uh, and um, the project, I'm, I'm just trying to find my way back in there. So you know. I'm sure it's not going to take long. Now, tell me, if there was one thing that you learned from the whole experience, what was it? That you're never too old to change things. It doesn't matter how old you are, if you actually uh, are challenged, you can change. You can do stuff that you'd never thought you'd do. Who would have ever thought I would have bungee jumped or ate an ostrich anus? So I did, and there you go, and I survived, and I'm here Yo, to talk about it. Harry Bigmore, you're at the Logies. I love you. Aww. How excited are you? I'm really, I'm really relaxed tonight. You know what? I'm not up for gold tonight, which is a great weight off my shoulders because I can just have fun and not, you know, I can have an early champagne and enjoy the night. And just relax. And now, relax. I've got a it might be too serious on the red carpet, but I look up to you as a woman and it's a message for young women everywhere seeing you night after night on the project with little Aww. kids and raising a family. Tell me how you do it. Um, well, it depends what day you ask me. Some days I'm like, I'm nailing this today. And other days I'm like, this is not working. Um, I don't know. I just look around me and see other fabulous women, you know, doing incredible things. I think if they can do it, I can do it. So I, I don't really know. I never know the answer. But behind uh, the, 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 the facade of the project, there's, you know, a heavy schedule. There's a lot of help. A lot of people, you know, my family are incredible. And, yeah, I couldn't do it without them. So You cover all the tough stories. How do you keep it together? I think that's what is so enduring about you. Sometimes you let that emotion out. Yeah, no, I'm not good. I, I don't know. In the last, well, for obvious reasons, I think what's happened in my life has meant that I'm far more um, emotional about things. And I, I really feel like I often probably connects too much with you know what the emotional journey that people are on and you know I can't help that sometimes I'm like sometimes I'm like Shut up, stop crying Gary but um you know I think there's lots of people in the world um, doing it really tough and I think one of the great things about the project is we can share their stories and whether it's money they need or awareness you know we can provide that for them so yeah. Gary thank you so much no for worries. stopping you, too. you look absolutely dapper you too. are you giving me eyes I don't think you should give me those eyes that a bit of a terrible catch about a brand new song yeah, I'm, I'm vlogging a new album and I'm singing a new song tonight. And you're giving me those eyes. No, it's don't give me those eyes, isn't it? I not to. <laughs> I was a dancer in a past life and we really? used to dance to Goodbye My Lover. So, you know, your music I stayed with me for some time. It was wonderful. Well, not maybe not my dancing, but the music was wonderful. <laughs> now tell me, you're at the Logos this year. Who are you looking forward to catching up with? Well, I just caught up with Danny uh, Minogue. You can just say her by her Christian name, isn't it? Yeah. Danny Minogue, obviously, because I know her well from when I had a day job here. Um, and... Yeah, I'm with me, I, Molly Meldrum Just as well. talk to James Blunt. Could this night get any better right now? <laughs> and Lavidia Nixon, how are you both tonight? Great, thanks. Having a good night. Hope you are. Oh, I'm having an absolutely wonderful time. Now, I have to ask, I'm sorry, Peter, about this beautiful dress that Lavidia is wearing. I know you've been asked a thousand times, but tell me, who is it by? Well, my friend Peter Hitchener thinks it's very understated. <laughs> Oh no, nothing can be understated when you've got this beautiful woman. <laughs> it's understated with beads. Yes, oh, there's enough jewels here to sink a ship. It's a beautiful Con Elio dress. He's a very talented, amazing, amazingly creative person who's whipped this dress up. It's got feathers, it's got pearls, it's, it's got everything and I love it. Now how many years have you both been coming to the Logies? I've been coming since 1974 and I've missed two in that time. Only two. That's a very incredible effort. And Lavidia? This is my 20th and the only one I've missed was uh, the night before my second son Ted was born. Oh well I suppose that's okay. 
Yeah, that's, that's true. Sick. And they went, you are not doing the red carpet. You are about to explode. Oh, oh wouldn't that have made great news, though? Lavinia Nixon's water breaks here at the Logies. That actually would have been horrific for everyone. <laughs> However, Ted... Teddy has this, this affinity with television now. Whenever he's in the studios, when Lavinia's going on air, he rather likes to run on and make a surprise appearance. Yes. When I've got 10 seconds before I'm on air and he'll jump up into my arms and tell me something that really shouldn't ever go to air. And I'm like, oh, how do I put out this beautiful bush Eddie Maguire. Beautiful. I, beautiful. I think it's right. I have been called beautiful for a while, Kate. Oh, well, we are at the night Here of nights. Here we are. Is this bigger than the Brownlow? Ah, oh, different things. It's uh, it's the biggest thing in television. The Chalk and cheese. Biggest, biggest thing in sport. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be going to both of them for the past 35 years. So there you go. That shows you how long I've been around the place. Now, I need to ask you if you've seen it. My co-host, John Vertigan, uh, we've found a fella in Warnable, and he is one-eyed Collingwood. His whole room dates back to 1958. He's been collecting Collingwood memorabilia. His name's Barry Knowles. Have you seen it? I haven't. But, Barry, you're a champion, mate. We love you. Oh, he's one of your premium members. I know, there's plenty of those. We've got 80,000 of them. But Barry, good on you, mate. Of course, 1958, a great year. The year my parents came out to Australia and the year the Pies won the premiership. Oh, so. there you go. You're a member forever. joining us at the 2017 TV Week Logies. We've had an incredible night. I hope you've enjoyed our journey with us. We'll see you next year.